Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 48, round of 64 match between Fanjo and his lizard men and Nyaga and his Dark Elves. In the booth with me is the literal goblin himself. Uh, fuck. The literal goblin himself, Moridam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you, don't you? Amazing, amazing professional introduction there for you. <laughs> so, what do you think of this match, Jim? I, I think Fanjo has two frenzy lizard men uh, souls, which oh my god seems horrendous, but good in this matchup, right? Because he can he can smash uh, pathetic elves with frenzy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know that you need two frenzies, but uh, you know, one isn't bad. Yeah, well, some people would argue with that, but yeah, you can you can cope with one, can't you? Because You've got so much strength and guard. In this case, three guard total. He is very much lacking guard on this team. Um, yeah. The lizards. No. Make, making their removals is good. Bangs out two guys. He's got a wizard and a babe. The problem is, of course, defending the ball against all of the elves, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't look too hard for the elves to, to come up that left side. I mean, you say that, Rick Basin, but that's a lot of glass. I used dirt just because it was the most available resource, <laughs> basically. I'm going to... There's a way to dupe concrete. I might dupe concrete so that I can get loads of concrete. But the thing is, if you're going to dupe it, then you might as well just bloody enter creative mode, right? Because it's kind of cheating, isn't it, to dupe things? But I guess you've got to build, like, a machine to do it, so maybe it's not that bad. Um, yeah. And there's a way to like get up farm obsidian, so maybe I could just get loads of obsidian and make it uh, make it out of obsidian. <laughs> Ooh, going around that's that's good because it's kind of baiting him into the middle, but he's just he's just going all the way around because he's super fast. Really nice. <laughs> Can chain an extra hit here as well, can't he? See, someone said Mr. Page is good at maximising hits, but he's not because I, I, he's just literally not because there's, I don't. I mean, what from what I've seen from Mr. Page, there's no way he would like blitz this guy into there and get an extra hit. He just doesn't do those kind of plays. He just he does greed reroll though sometimes. I felt probably more than I would. But like that's kind of a super obvious play, isn't it? And he hasn't done it here. Fanjo, but you know, could have had two players there, blitzed him, pushed him into there, and then got an extra hit, right? Yeah. He could have, uh, oh, no, that's unfortunate. He could have blitzed that top guy with the frenzy into another frenzy and had like eight yeah. dice on it. Yeah, yeah. But instead, he just blitzed him both down, didn't get the bang out, and now he might get banged out himself. Yep. The obsidian would be funny, yes, because then it would be. <laughs> it w I'm really tempted to go obsidian. Because <laughs> it would look pretty funny, I think. We've already got one obsidian one, and that looks pretty funny. I just don't think he's good at maximizing blocks. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think he's technically good at it. Oh, that's a pretty good, uh, for the Alps. Gee, if I had to protect, very nice. Oh, never mind. That, uh, <laughs> that advantage is swiftly gone. Yep. Uh, he's down three players. But, uh, Saurus out is, is good, isn't it? Yeah. The, the best, quote-unquote, best Saurus as well. The only tackle piece he's got. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like getting maxing like there's maxing blocks and there's like generating max blocks, that's you know, just to clarify. <laughs> what I mean I don't think he's good at generating max blocks like through chains and stuff. But 
for sure if like you care less about protecting the ball and stuff then you'll naturally get to make more hits so maybe I should care less about protecting the ball and stuff maybe I should maybe the good players are in in quotation marks could learn something from Mr. Page as that you can say from space <laughs> I mean, no, no one can learn anything from space. <laughs> Just a joke. I mean, not really. <laughs> but I'll say it's a joke. <laughs> you can learn some stuff about Norris if you, if you want space. And uh, as far as Blood Bowl goes, that's, that's generally about it. You can learn what not to do. That's true. <laughs> no offense, space. Love you. <laughs> Oh my god! <clears throat> this witch elf is ridiculous! Banged out two Saurus! Oh my god, the 1D pound. He's learnt his lesson about dodging away from the tail now, doesn't even try with that one. And now losing two Saurus, even, even though... He's lost three men of his own. It's it's hard now, isn't it? Because now the the skinks are going to get pressured. Yeah, yeah. You know, they they say if you remove the skinks, you win the game. But if you remove the Saurus, you you win <laughs> faster. Yes. <laughs> There's not too many other teams that really can't afford to lose players on the field. Yeah, yeah. They are brittle. Like they're super strong, but they are brittle. Yeah, just like um, just like dwarves, right? Yeah. Dwarves can lose like maybe one player and be okay, but if they have, if they're down two, yeah. suddenly they're not so good. Yep. Um, yeah, that's true, Steve. That oh my, why wow, he's gone in for the ball oh and gets the power, gets the removal. Yeah, Spear yeah. certainly does well at beating me, doesn't he? Somehow. You haven't played space of that many times, though, to be fair. No. And, you know, he might have just diced me over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> there is a chance that it's just been dicings, rather than space cadetting. But, you know, I do like the term space cadetting, and there is something to it, to be fair. I kind of hate this spot because it's not doing a whole lot, is it? Um, it's not like letting, it's not making him make two dodges or make him make two dodges. I guess it's, it's slowing him up. It's slowing him down, I guess, so it's doing something. Out comes the bolt on offense. I don't like that hit. Why are we not getting the tackle off of the skink who can actually get the ball? Well, you can't. Could have, though. Oh, no, he has two tackles. Mm. He still could have. Could have hit one and blitzed the other. Maybe. Maybe. Was this guy stood up? Did he just hit him? Yeah, he could have. Yeah, in that case, he could have hit him. And then... mm, it's hard, though. It's hard to get rid of both. It, it is hard to get rid of both. But... So, yeah, he did do something good standing there, actually. This, yeah. this tackle man's. Well, so you have to drop a reroll here. And now, now the uh, lizards have lost. <laughs> All right, I expect it to be a two-zero win for the elves at this point. Yeah. And yeah, bring it. They do lose players when they go up against uh, claw palm. Yeah, or just dice, right? Or just, or just dice. dice. And or then they get really overconfident and they sideline cage, and then remember the opponent is uh, goblins. They don't. They don't give a fuck. And they just surf. <laughs> Dwarves, dwarves, absolutely lose players. Just, just to dice and to claw palm, and and plus they're also not like super strong like lizards, right? Like dwarves are only like kind of good, whereas lizards are insanely, ridiculously good <laughs> until they're not. <laughs> whereas dwarves are just really, you know, dwarves are just good. I would say dwarves are just good. It's a lovely spot for yeah. the crocs there, isn't it? With the cancelling the that uh, and getting the guard in for him. But if he can roll the power here, this is an instant instant uh surf, isn't it? Do you re-roll that? Maybe he should have done. 
Eight I, I definitely had to, right? Could he have made it three dice? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you make that three dice, right? In fact, yeah. oh, he's here though, isn't he? Oh, that's so annoying. Did he blocked him? I. Oh, he got think both so. down. Yeah. So maybe if he if he'd powered him, then he could have he could have moved this skink in there, and then you know put players here, so he'd have had to. Uh, Go away from him, but he, I guess he couldn't fill in this. Oh, I'm gonna go backwards. Fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, the, this one being down there screws him, doesn't it? Because he can't get a player in here. He, I guess he could have dodged there. This one could have dodged yeah. to there, and then this one could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so he'd have to double dodge. Yeah, that's pretty, it's 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 a lot of dice. But it's worth it, though, isn't it? It's worth it just to do that and then push him off, and then you just get the serve. Yeah. It's better it, than it, hoping it to power and then not re-roll it. But I could also see looking at looking at this and being not seeing that play. Yeah, fair enough. But it, like he had he had to go for it, I think. And I think yeah, it, I, I think I would have re-rolled it. Yeah, like you said, for sure. Free stall anyway. Oof, go on, go on back. I don't like that. You don't want to be behind him, you want to be in front of him. Who's blitzing? Is he just not blitzed? Oh god, that, that's why he's, that's why he went around the back so he can hit the ball this way. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's worth doing. I mean, it is if you power him. Yeah. Kind of. But if you don't power him, he just goes where he wants, doesn't he? Cause he's he's moved nine and arch five. <laughs> yeah. He does what he wants. Big one in nine there, wasn't it? I guess you made this dodge. Mm, doesn't. Is it just a GFI hit the ball? Uh, where yeah. he wasn't based? No. Oh. He was based, he dodged off of him. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> it could have been a 4 plus, but he just made it a 2 plus. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, he didn't get it, even with the reroll, but I, th I think I just would have kept that guy based up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, I saw he was based, and I was like, it's tough, it's rough that it's a 4 plus. He could have dodged off and then gone back there, right? Like, I guess that's what you do. Yeah. Dodge off and then reattach so that he would have to dodge and then double GFI as well, rather than just, uh, just dodge. Well, there you go. He's got himself back into this somehow. Again, I hate going behind the ball. Like I really hate that. I know. I know lizards are fast, but this dude's movement nine, isn't he? I, yeah. I think if I was going to go behind the ball, I would have sent him as a scoring threat instead at that point. Yeah. Which would be very optimistic. <laughs> it would, but now, like, you know, you don't have to worry about Fanjo scoring at all. Oh yeah. Right now, because at worst you're like, well, at worst it's nil nil on your opponent's offense. So. It's always optimistic, but it at least makes you think. You know, you have to at least probably send somebody to, to base the skink. Yeah, I did GFI instead of an extra dodge there, didn't he? That was a. Uh... That was one of the times. Sometimes people cut corners and be like, "Where do I want to go?" And they've done a you know, Artemis hates that, doesn't he? The, the pointless corner cutting. That time he did GFI instead of a corner. <laughs> did a GFI instead of a corner cut, so he probably should have thought where he was going beforehand. Yeah. Do we go for the six plus dodge? No, because can't even surf anywhere. Just stand in front of him. I like that chain to get the crocs in. The crocs is. 
your best chance I, of doing anything. I honestly think I would have maybe got six plus in. I just hoped. Because I don't rough. think I, I don't think this is any better of a defense. Yeah, it's not going to get it done, is it? You would think. You would think this won't get it done. No, I don't think it would. Especially moving there, so that you give him a instant free and easy chain. <laughs> he doesn't even need a chain; he just runs around, doesn't he? Yeah, he, yeah, he doesn't need the chain because he left. <laughs> just <laughs> literally <laughs> runs around. <laughs> Three two pluses with dodge. Yeah. Two of them yeah, with dodge. And... So yeah, that looks like um, that looks like the six plus in was definitely better than that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said in our game, Jim, uh, it's just a six plus, right? Easy six plus. Yeah. I wonder if the game is bugged with interceptions off bombs. By the way, <laughs> I, I think you could be right. <laughs> I've seen a lot of bomb interceptions, like far more than I've seen, like any other kind of interception. Just yeah, but of course, more bombs are thrown over people than, than. Blood balls are. Yeah, but there, it's the point where I actually throw bombs so that if the opponent intercepts it, it's actually better than if my bomb lands because I'm more, <laughs> they're more likely to intercept it than it is for that bomb to land wherever it's going. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I realized in our game that I shouldn't have even attempted the intercept. But, uh... No, because it was, it was a six plus uh, bomb throw, right? Yeah. So, and I think it was like a four or five plus to even be inaccurate so it was yeah it was a real dumb in itself but at least it was funny it oh, gave it us some good bad. clips and some entertainment but yeah never again it's just automatic though isn't it you're just like yeah i want to intercept <laughs> yeah i do look quick snap I had an opponent uh, intercept the ball with their ball carrier once. Intercept the bomb, rather. Nice. And I was just like, why did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> and it was in tabletop as well, so it was even funnier. So I was just like, all right, well, I'm going to pop dribble snot, blow up your ball carrier. <laughs> Is he going to dacka? I hope so. Looks looks like it could be a little. Oh, he's running around to tackle a skink. Well done, redditor. <laughs> Not even a darker. It's like a half darker, isn't it? It's the old half darker. Yeah. Where you will allow it's your whole team to. It's or nothing. That's the kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. Well, no, there's a time and a place for the half dacker, I guess, but I would have rather full dackered. Yeah, same. Especially with, you know, edge 5 and movement 9. Yeah. And the edge 5 witch. Like, the edge 5 witch is sick sideline control, isn't it? Absolutely sick. I know, I know he's got sidestep skinks, but still. Yeah, but Asaurus don't, right? Mm -hmm. Saurus have to stay more to the middle. Yeah. The diamond tackle is really annoying for the uh, skinks, isn't it? So I guess you want to just bang him with a mighty blow. Frenzy tackler. Yeah. Which is taking you completely away from their offense, but what can you do? And it, you know, got his best player KO'd uh, at the beginning of last drive, going for it. Uh, and uh, he got nothing for it again. Yep. He's had some absolute shit block dice. Yeah. Yeah, he has. But I mean, they're just they're just good though on defense, Rick Baseman. This is the thing, right? Like they're hard to do a normal offense against because look at them. <laughs> you can't hit him. You can't hit him. You can't hit him. You can't hit him. It's hard to dodge from him. It's hard to dodge from him. Like. The actual normal offense is hard against lizards. So, yeah, the, it's not like the deck is easy, but neither is a normal offensive drive. 
unlike the uh, defense against lizards, which I find to be a lot easier than, than offense against them. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of like goblins, right? Like people said, the goblin like if you win, if you win the coin as goblins, you wanna receive. Man, goblin offense is fucking shit. It's yeah. so bad. Their defense is insane because they have so many tools to just fuck you up, and you have to concentrate on defending the ball, so you can't hit the goblin's secret weapons as much. Yeah. And on defense, you just you just base them all up, and they're like, what what do they do? They're all strength two, and then they've got to worry about the ball. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty yeah. easy on defense against them a lot of the time. Yeah, especially against anyone who has any strength four. Like if if a humans base you up, you know you can maybe you can do some dodges and get a shitload of two dice and hits. But not against the developed team, of mm. course. Because they both guard. But... Yeah. And tackle. And they're faster tackle. than you. <laughs> yep. And goblins are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute best. But sometimes it's hard to win. Yeah, this was the weakness with this like cage was that it was based in both directions and yep, the guard and he gets the hit. That was pretty terrible from Fanjo. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. But uh, it was pretty terrible. <laughs> Gets yeah, away with it, that, maybe. Imagine if that elf had just died. Imagine if he had just straight up killed that elf. He deserved to, I think. Yeah, at least deserved to be cast, so he'd be out the rest of the game. Yeah, this was a good tag, though. This is a great tag, isn't it? To uh, get the thing out. Oh, he's rolled a one. Oh, oh. Diced. Click the ball, though. Got mouse problems. Oh my god, well, there, there, there goes the great man on man tag as he just gets rid of him instantly. Hmm. I wanted nothing more than that. Saurus to catch that ball. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd just get, you'd probably lose it, wouldn't he? Yeah, he probably, <laughs> probably would. But to make it a lot more interesting of a match right now, mm. instead of uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus to get the ball and move. And... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Got a reroll. He's managing to make this hard for himself, isn't he, Fanjo? Somehow. It, yeah. it feels like it should have been a lot more comfortable than this. Having that base cage was a mistake. Yeah. <gasps> the bone head, because he had the same play, didn't he? He had literally the same play. Just the, the guard comes in here, hits him, hits him, and he comes through to hit. Like, it was the, it was the literal exact same play. Now he can just yeah. do it here if he gets a power, which he does. Yeah. Right, like he could have not on pushes. So. I don't know. No, uh, I know it's shit, but I kind of like the idea of. Does he have? He doesn't have sidestep on that super guy, does he? He doesn't know. Just do the dodge. I, I'd have been tempted, yeah, because it's a dodge into into a surf. Mm. I think that's a bit strong. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit, but I kind of, I, I, I would have thought about it. I would have at least looked and been like, is that? It's not the play. Yeah. That wasn't the play, though. I can tell you that. No, yeah, I shouldn't roll the one in nine. No. Bad play. <laughs> no, uh... It's not as an assist. Uh, it just dodges with him, why not? Why not? <laughs> Now if they if the elves score next turn, the uh, game is basically over. Yeah. Also, I don't think I would have dodged that diving tackle piece off. No, I wouldn't have done basically any of this because it's just letting yourself roll one in thirty sixes that leads you the game, right? Potentially, yeah. or at least make it very likely that you lose. When he could have just yeah, played exactly. it so much safer. He could have played. I mean, he could have played the whole game safer, to be honest. But um, yeah, a lot safer than he has. Yeah. But you can bring a spot on the money there. You can, most of this game, uh, Niagara's just thought, Edge 5, woo! Yeah, that's true. 
and hasn't really thought much about trying to play properly. Because, like, you know, elves, sure, anyone can roll two pluses, but what you've got to do is try and make it so that the two plus fails don't lose you the game and try to make as few two pluses as possible. And uh, yep. Niaga hasn't really cared about either of those two things very much. <laughs> Yeah, basically at all, right? Like, he left just mm. easy hits on the ball and stuff. Yeah. Oh, the old frenzy trap. Oh, justice! Glorious justice! That's what you get for taking frenzy on a Saurus. <laughs> now surf is, surf is, surf is other Saurus to teach him. It's not even just that he took frenzy, right? Like, he took frenzy first. First, yeah, what the hell? Frenzy first. What a loon. Oh my god. God, that's worse than when I saw someone take a uh, a wrestle, a, a, a rackle saurus once. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, the yeah I that? hate a rackle saurus. Uh. Don't know why you're saying that, Bringer of Doom. If 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 he was an Andy Devo of you, he'd have gone block first and uh, just called called the Skinker. He would have called the Saurus a frenzy Saurus. Hey, <laughs> Banta! some dice but uh, it's what can you do here there's a weak diagonal do anything. so I think you just got to double dodge with the crocs let's go just double dodge with the crocs six plus six plus hit the ball <laughs> that's it, it that's it that's that's like literally the play because this is not going to be enough. No. It's not going to be enough because he can just score. Like, yeah. What are the odds that they're able to score back twice in yeah. three turns? Pretty pretty low. Yeah. Like, okay, so say you put your crocs on the ball, it's just a one thirty six to fail. Whereas if you're doing a double a double GF if you do double six plus dodges to hit him, you've got a reroll on that, so it's better than one in thirty six. <laughs> so literally the, the double the double crocs dodge was better than the blitz and then base with the crocs. Because the stall is irrelevant. Like it you know, like you would just score, wouldn't you? I would just bang it in right now. I wouldn't even roll any other dice. I'd just bang yeah. it in. Yeah, me too, to be honest. I think you have a better chance of failing one of these blocks than doing any significant damage to the Saurus. Yeah. In theory, yes, Bring of Doom, but in, in the real world, 2-0, <laughs> you know, almost yeah. certainly secures it. I mean, you almost basically have to set up four on one turn as the Wizards now. Yeah. Because if you score in two turns, you only have one turn to score on defense. Yeah. Unless you get like a riot. But I think you set up for a one turn. Yeah. And I think as uh, Niaga, I think you set up in an anti one turn. Yeah. As well. And he hasn't. Which I, I guess. He hasn't at all because they're all next to each other. Yep. Movement nine, sidestep. Yeah, put him in there, gonna blitz him. Yep, 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 yep. Though he's blitzing with frenzy, which is terrible. Just quietly. <laughs> I hate I hate frenzy blitzers in one turns, they just don't even help. Because you've always got the next guy to hit anyway, you know? Yeah. Though if you can frenzy hit into another frenzy hit, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just un completely unnecessary because you can always hit with somebody yeah. else. Anyway. Oh, P, did he? Hey. Unbelievable. Do you know what? I nearly scored a movement six one turn, but uh, I had a Minotaur and the Frenzy. The Frenzy spoiled it. I was really sad. What a great story that was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you can still technically one turn that. Oh, no, he can't now. He fucked it. Mm. He could have hit with his Blodge Saurus straight up against that dodge guy, moved the guard one out, and then the, the yes. Frenzy guy could have hit twice, pushed him into the square, and he could have actually pushed his guy two times. Yeah. Yeah, he could have done. Yeah, he could have done it. Oh, but he, so he's kind of. I think he was trying to do it this way somehow. Well, this doesn't work, does it? Because again, frenzy. If he'd just done one hit, then the frenzy. Like if he just didn't have frenzy, then this frenzy could have got to that way. But no, yeah, you're you're right. Yeah, yeah. Because that that is one of the good things about frenzy with one turns is that if you try and do you know you do the block to get them in the hole, yeah. Like. Yeah. But the initial people. blitz is a terrible use of frenzy in one time. Yeah, no, I agree. And he's probably by this point just tilted. So yes, yes. I, I guarantee he was not looking for a way to still do the one turn. No, of course, yeah. Like this is this is fair enough, isn't it? But I still think it was shit. Like he still had a. I don't say an easy one turn, because it still is dice, but I mean, yeah, a fairly okay one turn attempt. Yes, easy to work out. Yep. Even by me, who uh, I literally never have to worry about one turn attempts. Because <laughs> uh, hand off to Goblin, throw Goblin, and pff, that's it. Yeah. Sure as shit ain't gonna try to push players with strength two or uh, strength five, but really stupid movement four. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. They've had, they've taken some cards, but they've had some good dice. The uh, the dark elves. I think I've just full retreated here. Yeah. Avoid all the mighty blow hits that are coming. Could easily get out of range of all the saurus. Because you've won this game at this point. Like, you can't even score next turn. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a definite win. It's over. Even Elliot would agree. It's over. Yeah, it's all over. All over but the tears. And if it was me, uh, I would be fouling on my last two turns as uh, this lizard map. Go for those, those dirty casses. Which some people may disagree. They may say that that's bad sportsmanship, and I would say, well, fuck off. <laughs> and Saurus foul. No. Why even defend? It doesn't matter. Game's mm -hmm. over. Yeah. Get some excitement by following a, a, a wrestle dodge elf. Crox has been pretty well behaved for the Delves. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? The 12th man for the Dark Elves was the Crox. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Crox wasn't really relevant at all, was he? Like, I don't, I don't know that he did much this game. Give me, give me one dead elf. He still got an apple. Give me one dead elf here, Banjo. <laughs> Disgusting. Disc Disgusterous. Not even dead. Oh my god, is he gonna do the... Oh, he is doing the foul. Get in there, kill it. Kill that elf. 
No, sent off. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jim Fowl. Sent off Jim Fowl. <laughs> if he had moved and then done it with the ball carry, he would have broke armor. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He would have. He rolled two threes. It was a seven plus at the moment. He needed one more assist. There he would have go. had a seven. He would have had a six. Yeah. Well, commiserations, fan joke. Congratulations, Nyaga. Um, that was something I want to see what the Crocs did. Um, I only failed three times. That's crazy. It felt, it felt like he was failing it all the time. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like perception bias. That's it's so just because it was. It was on the last turn, so it was... Yeah, maybe. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Right. Um, thank you very much, Moridam. Glorious coming on and uh, casting this. Yeah, no problem. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.